This is one of the most beautiful countries ever and it's in Africa. An enchanting island which is in the Indian Ocean. It is visa free to many countries and millions of people troop in here for vacations. With the things I saw, I could have sworn that this country is not in Africa. Every day is a beach day with beautiful, sexy and juicy women seen all around. Tropical rainforest, most finest roads with luxurious cars driven randomly. Don't be surprised if I tell you that your country country's billionaires actually owns houses here. This country is also the richest country in Africa. Ladies and gentlemen. If you want to visit heaven, come visit Mauritius, a piece of heaven on earth. Don't miss it. You're most welcome to Mauritius. My trip to this amazing country actually came as a shock to me. It was something I could hardly believe. If I told you that my trip to Mauritius was for free, would you believe me? Well, keep watching this video and subscribe now to know how you too can travel for free. Here for about a week, yes, and every day we have been going to different places. A holiday in Mauritius is a real bucket list dream. This country is divided into nine districts with Port Louis standing as its capital city. Mauritius population is estimated at 1.3 million people. Mauritius is one of the multicultural countries in the world. They are mainly descendants of Indian laborers, Chinese traders, African slaves and Dutch, French and British colonies. Today, this creates a diverse yet peaceful community that celebrates religion and ethnicity. The main language spoken in this country is Mauritian Korea, but French and English are used as alternatives. The economic growth of Mauritius is largely based on tourism and agriculture. So you see, they do not joke with their tourism as a means of growing their country's wealth. Well, in this video, we are about to find out how beautiful Mauritius is and is this currently the best tourism destination in Africa? But first, how did I get to Mauritius knowing fully well that a trip like this would be expensive for me? I I was chosen as a lucky winner of a completely paid trip and here is the best part. You can also travel to your dream destination without spending a dime. All you need to do is subscribe to Tales of an Explorer on YouTube, follow them on Instagram and engage with their contents by sharing, liking and commenting. If you need more information on how to travel to Mauritius, please check the description of this video. We traveled as a group of six people to Mauritius with Tales of an Explorer as the host and navigator of this trip. With him was his wife, Bab Kadini, the magic shark, Adiola, the sexy chocolate social media influencer, Sam, the videographer, and I, Simon, who was on a free trip and ready to explore. Firstly, we stayed in Grand Bay, a vibrant village in the northern part of Mauritius. Tales of an Explorer, a travel YouTuber, alongside his beautiful wife, they stayed in Lux Grand Bay a hotel by the beach which cost about $800 a night. This hotel has some of the best facilities a five-star hotel is expected to have and it was worth every penny. It's ideal for family on vacation or couples on a honeymoon. On the other hand is Babs. He stayed in Cozy Labrain which cost $125 per night. This apartment is a main deal for a family of three. It's a one-bedroom apartment but has an extra bed. This apartment is very comfortable and also has a swimming pool that looks like a mini beach at the back. Adiola, Sam and I stayed in Nautilia which is a beautiful three-bedroom apartment and my only regret was that I only knew that this apartment had a swimming pool the day we were relocating to another apartment. My favorite place was La Veranda, a hotel by the beach at Grand Bay. Although it was not as luxurious as Lux Grand Bay or other hotels, but it felt like home to me. After touring all day, we would settle down here. We had a special table and their food was top notch and their staffs were nice and looking happy. I would suggest this hotel if you would decide to visit Mauritius. It costs about $350 for a night. Just of an explorer. Uh, 
what's up? Uh, he's actually staying in this uh, apartment, in this hotel. So what's your experience so far? My experience, um, uh, it's been good, man. The bad and the good? Just, yeah, just the bad. Okay. Just good. The only bad here is because it's sunny, yeah? Okay. And, uh, it's making me black huh? okay, making you black. Then, I thought you had this the sunscreen. Yeah, so apparently I have to apply the sunscreen multiple times. While in the north, we visited so many interesting places, okay. starting from the beach at Granby for pictures and feel the breeze of Mauritius Island. Welcome to Mauritius. The botanical garden where we learned about some it's Asian trees garden. and I saw this particular location yeah, where so plants where grow on here, water. Huh? What kind of plants? Water lilies. Water lilies from the Amazon. Ooh. White in the morning, the flowers, and pink in the evening. It changed color. Wow. And the flower lasts only for one day and then it's finished. Plants, only one plants, day. Plants, so it grows in the morning? Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And the small leaf, one month like this and three months he dies. And it's about a weight of two or three kilograms. And the spike protects the leaves of the Wait, fish, don't it? It's so possible it's only so three kilograms. Yeah, yeah. So if I stand on it, it's one. No, you are not two, two three kilograms. <laughs> In the Amazon, it's a this is a famous spot because i have often seen pictures of this on instagram i didn't know this was actually in mauritius we went for a boat cruise for this to happen you need to book ahead of time maybe three weeks before arrival because there's a long line of people waiting for their turn so it made us leave our apartments very early to catch up on time please do not be late else you might lose your turn this cruise led us to an island where everybody was given about two hours to spend on the island so we decided to go for an underground water walk i had always wanted to do something like this and this was very satisfying next we decided to test death itself by going for zip lining which is at which Valley de Bro, a nature park in fuck. Mauritius this experience was hilarious and at the same time fun I never expected I could be this scared. Wait now. Let me let me explain something to you. See, understand something first. You, my back is my back there first. Wait now. Take everything off. Okay. Just wait. Already checked. Okay. 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 We visited the most beautiful market in Africa, which is at Port Louis, the capital of Mauritius. And man, I have never seen a market like this in Africa. The market has a train station and a famous hotel for celebrities. They said that uh, when the big actors came, this was this was the hotel that they stayed. That is about twenty-five thousand uh, Mauritius rand per night. Going to visit the Hindu temple was exciting. This religion welcomes strangers with open arms. It's one of the tourist destinations in Mauritius. You get to know about the different types of gods and they don't believe there is life after death. And it's a religion that preaches peace. Okay, your light is one. Your 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 light is one. Your love, your married, your uh, family, only one. Okay? Thank you very much. After spending a week in the north, we had to move to Anaita Resort to experience the eastern side of Mauritius. This resort is also by the beach. They have well-furnished apartments which cost about $547 for a three-bedroom apartment per night. This resort offers luxury real estate properties for sale. Some people who stay here in this resort actually own their own apartments. We played golf here and enjoyed the beautiful aesthetics of the environment. Their food here was quite expensive, but the staffs were very nice and welcoming. It's ideal for couples on honeymoon. Last place we visited was Oberoi Beach Hotel. This hotel cost $1,200. What? In Naira is a whooping sum of 1.7 million Naira for just a night in this hotel. This is the most expensive hotel I have ever slept in all my life. They have separate apartments and every house was detached. Some had swimming pools, some did 
not. We only spent two days here and headed straight to the airport. Mauritius has the most beautiful airport I have seen and checking in and out was not a hard deal. I would love to visit Mauritius again sometime because there are so many things that we do not do and I think it's currently my favorite country in the world right now. A lot of African countries don't talk about how beautiful this country is. If you ever get a chance to visit Mauritius, you can definitely stay at Grand Bay or Port Louis on a cheaper level. Africa is blessed with Mauritius. If you love this video and love what we do, please give us a subscribe. Like our videos and share thank you for watching and we'll be up some other time